All right, let's show you what's going on and we start with a look outside. Yeah, we have some we have some exciting driving going on. We, it can be very exciting here. It can. Yeah. Which you have to be a defensive driver, so you've got to rise to their level, unfortunately. Yeah. To well, defend I, I yourself. Do, I do tell my wife that. She's like, did you see that? I'm like, yeah, I look, don't worry about me. I'm driving at a whole nother level. You know, I'm seeing things other people aren't seeing. Until I almost got us in an accident the other day. Then I realized, no, I'm not. All right, here's a look at what's going on. Partly cloudy skies. And we do have some storms forming over the northern mountains this afternoon, lining up right along the Sangre de Cristos. Not anything that's a major league issue at this point. We will see an expansion in the storms coming up over the next few days. Right now, it's the southwestern half of the state seeing most of the action from Socorro County all the way down through Hatch, Las Cruces, and Anthony right now, Silver City in between Lordsburg and Las Cruces picking up some storms on I-10. So not bad at all down here. And we will see more and more moisture stream up through the state through the holiday weekend. It actually looks pretty good. Lining up along the mountains again, along the west slope of the mountains, getting a few showers and up over the hem as we're grabbing a couple storms as well at this hour. A wider look here shows that flow coming up from the south here and it's got some support with it. And because of that, we're going to see these storms continue across the southwest over the next few hours here. And we'll hold on to some of these showers. A lot of cloud cover as well around places like Otero County and plenty of cloud cover all the way across southeastern New Mexico as well. Farther to the north, we have some clouds here now, but not a lot in the way of showers. 84 degrees in the metro. Southwest winds at 13 miles an hour. Temperatures 80s and 90s to the north. 70s, 80s and 90s down to the south. But you can see those 60s in southwestern New Mexico where we have all that moisture coming up. You know, it's been a while since we've seen a nice moisture flow up into the state like this. And it looks like we're going to at least see that shot to continue and into the weekend. It could well expand over a wider area of the state. So showers tonight across the southwest. Not as much action here in central sections, but we could see a spot shower tonight. Thunderstorms and isolated storms out to the east throughout the area tomorrow. But the west and south will be favored again. Then it looks like Friday we see a bit of a break again. Some of the storms in some areas along these central sections, but a good expansion in showers late on Friday and into the weekend as well. And yes, isolated flooding will be a possibility in some of the high terrain here because we're going to have enough juice flowing up into the state. Once you add the heat of the day, we're going to crank things up here storm wise for the weekend and into Monday as well. May even add a cold front to the mix into the northeast by Monday, which could help too to enhance storms there. So look for storms to increase across southern Colorado, but not necessarily tomorrow. Tomorrow we're talking sun and clouds, chance of showers 20%, but that chance goes up into the holiday weekend. Same deal around the northwest, 77 in Grants, 88 Farmington and 81 out in Gallup across the southwest. Good shot at grabbing showers here. Scattered storms, chance at storms around 50% or so, so that higher number of storms continues. And then Saturday and Sunday, same deal with a good shot of showers. Not as much action across southeastern New Mexico as a general rule, but a shot of showers tomorrow at around 10%. Up to the northeast, relatively quiet here, but as you can tell, it does ramp up over the weekend thanks to that front into the northeast. Meanwhile, northern mountains scattered storms for tomorrow and increasing chances of showers later on into the weekend and into next week as well, with temperatures beginning to drop with highs eventually down into the mid-70s. Scattered rain, Sandia Park and Cedar Crest, Edgewood, Estancia, slightly warmer, mountain air at 80 for tomorrow. Meanwhile, here in the metro, Chance of showers around 20% or so for tomorrow. But that chance does creep up over the weekend with the cooler temperatures in place for tomorrow. And then we're going to cool it down again. Sunday and Monday are best chance to grab showers here in the Albuquerque metro area. Again, overall, pretty promising into the weekend. We could do okay for rain. Good. Okay. Thanks, Mark.